Hey there. I'm standing out here in the zucchinis. Now, if you guys have a backyard garden, you probably have zucchini. It's one of those easier things to grow. But let me show you something about this. Because maybe you do or maybe you don't know. So remember, see all the flowers? The flowers are before the fruit. You see the fruit? In this case, it's a zucchini. It's a vegetable. See the flower at the end of it? So those flowers are really yummy. They're called squash blossoms. And one of the ways that we fix them, let me show you. You harvest it and then you take these and you pull these off. You pull these off and you can keep the stem, but if you eat the stem, you also peel off that outside kind of prickery edge where there's little stickers on it because you can eat this, it's yummy. And then what we do is we take it and we kind of just chop it lightly and then you can saute it in a skillet. See the flower inside? Isn't that pretty? All this is edible and it tastes kind of cheesy. It's really yummy. You can just saute it with a little salt and garlic and olive oil or ghee. Also, you can dip them in like a breading and fry them and have kind of like pan fried squash blossom flowers. They're really delicious. And then of course, zucchini. We all like zucchini. And if you planted some, you probably already have too much because zucchini plants are prolific. They produce lots and lots of foods. I, food, I think it's one of the reasons why it's popular for backyard gardens because you get a lot of food from it. Let me show you what's happened to our cilantro because I'm standing out here smelling cilantro. So remember how we told you the bees are here too? So your plants will go to seed and when they go to seed, they're, they're reproducing themselves. They're scattering the seed. Or if you were saving seed, cilantro seed is super, super small. You'd be saving it for future plantings. That's how we get volunteers, is when you let your plants go to seed, then the seed is scattered and some of it actually grows into maturity, like those watermelons I showed you the other day. And water, those volunteers, the same thing is true of the cilantro. But right now, come look, we're feeding bees. The bees are buzzing and they're sucking nectar out of these flowers. And the flowers, they smell delicious. Look at this whole, it smells like I'm in a kitchen chopping cilantro. But really, I'm just in the garden enjoying the cilantro flowers. The cycle of nature is mystical and magical and miraculous. And Make sure you get outside and you look for it and you see it and you appreciate it and give thanks for it, okay? See you later.